Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about the game in general. This is going to be a quick beginner's guide for you so you can understand what everything is and what everything does, okay? So, first of all, let's start by analyzing what are we seeing, right? What are we seeing? This is going to be the landscape that you're going to see on PC if you play on landscape on PC. And it's probably going to be available on phone as well. And you can use the... Um, the marker here to go around and guide your characters, but you can also use what WASD, right? To move your character on PC. Now, on the top left, on the top left, we have your you have your character here with the amount of power that you have. You can also hide it if you want to take a screenshot. Here is like your guild, your name, and your title. The titles can be changed at any point, and it also tells you where everything is. So if you click uh, the on the top right you can you can change your costumes and see like what you have and if you don't have something and this applies for everything you can just click on it and it will and then click on the on the sign here and it will tell you where it's from which is really good so that way you can have in mind or you can have a goal in mind oh i want to get this uh what do i need to do you need to be rank one or ten into the dream realm rankings uh weekly i believe now when we go back, let's go back, changes, yes, this is the, this is your roster, this is squad settings, you can select here the people that are going to follow you in the open world, so if you have a specific character that you like, you can choose them here, so they follow you around, this is your character, now the post setting, this will apply when people spectate your character, or you uh, appear in the guild rankings, where it's like your character, every time your character is displayed, it will have the, one of these posts that you selected or even random if you want i could be like playful so i use playful now on the top left again you click now you can change your player name again which is not your account it's your play name you can change at any point signature welcome to experience do whatever you want here male female hide and then on avatar you can change it to whatever hero you have that you can that you like frame same thing and if you don't want to if you want to know what they're from you can click on it and it's going to tell you where to get it click again on the on the on the sign to know where it's from now again on title if you click the title it's going to show you a bunch of uh, different options you can have a prefix and a suffix show or hide the title and again if you find a cool title that you would like to know where it's from click the uh, the sign again to see where it's from and what to do to get it now that's the the character portion if we go to the bottom left st still on the on the panel bottom left is going to be your afk progress which is going to start from level one it's going to start to accumulate passive currency while you have even if you're outside of the game you don't have the game open they're still going to go ahead and generate this amount of resources now these resources could be uh, can be uh, increased with the afk level and the mystic collection that we'll check in just a second whenever we get to that point and to progress this you just battle and win over and over and over the enemies will be different and stronger so you're gonna have to have a better gear and better better team okay so you go around and in certain aspects in a certain threshold of the afk battle you will unlock more content in the game so try to speed run this and do it as many times like as fast as you can as soon as you can as well okay and keep in mind to come back after a while, after a couple of hours, to check this, because this uh, eventually caps, so it doesn't generate infinite amounts. So if you AFK for three three days, it's not going to be three days, it's going to be like 20, 20 hours, 22 hours, you can increase it with time, uh, but that's not the video, we're not going too hard on it. Now, if you want to know where to get your resonance, uh, you can click this one, but I'm going to show you that in just a second. Now, on the, still on the left, you will encounter this. This is just like emotes for... Uh, if you find like another player so you will have more emotes here but you can also uh, change it like the order which one you wanted wanted to have first and stuff like that it's really it's like flavor stuff and you can like high five another player if you want and you can also chat now if you chat press enter or you can click on on the right here but you can press enter and then select word server team up guild and then whispers okay now 
let's go ahead and talk on the right side and then we're going to talk on the middle okay right side on the top right there is the map if you click on it it will show you everything that you have to know in the map this purple one and the teleporter these are special encounters enemies you don't necessarily have to kill but they give you more resources and stuff so if you can if you're high enough level to do it you should do that you should kill them all basically now it's obvious that while you progress into the game you're not going to be as as strong so you're going to have to come back and clear them later you can clear everything and then there's special encounters that are called shadow uh corrupt creature that you can go there and team up with players in a co-op fight okay and then at certain point you also unlock the primal lord which is a world boss that you can go out there and kill now if you are uh, exploring the map you will have uh, an exploration progress if you click on the top left while in the map it will show you which uh part of the in this case dark forest you haven't done yet uh, how many chests you didn't get uh, and what to do extra to get to 100 as you can see by clearing the different parts of the forest you get different rewards and in general the map if you 100 the map you will get a, a bunch of uh, diamonds which is actually a pretty good amount and this applies for every zone in the game so it's gonna be really good okay so keep that in mind now that was the top right here the river this is the this is your quest journal if you click on it it's going to track one quest that you want but if you want to track something else you click this and it's going to track the other one right and you can also do a story recap if you want and then the town quest is going to display the quests that are available for you in town now if you can you should be doing these because they give you a lot of uh, uh, hero essence which is very very important you you will be gated a lot behind the hero the um, the hero essence so try to get as many as you can as fast as you can as soon as you can because those are going to gate you a lot now if you click on the quest this auto is going to auto path but you don't have it unlocked immediately so how to unlock the auto path you go to bottom right you click the three uh, the three lines you get to here uh, to this menu and then go to settings and then to auto route here auto route you click on it's going to be off you click on there's also other uh adjustments that you can do to the graphics to the battle for example if you don't want to see the ultimate animation you can or you want to see it every time or only or every login once you can select which one you want i usually use random or every login or never i don't do always because it takes too long okay you also have some shortcut on pc i don't know if the, this is a thing on on uh, on phone uh you you're gonna have to let me know and this is character switch account and all the extra stuff that you can do for community and stuff okay now on the bottom right we have the chat as, as i told you again you can move it a little bit but only on the side okay so you can you can have it in the middle of the screen so if you don't like it there you can put it on the left okay this is the uh shop where you can also you can all go there and buy stuff i'm not this is not a shop uh play, um, guide so we're not gonna go into the shop this is the all hero these are like the events that are uh, around so for example uh, login rewards uh, do x amount of things in the game rewards right this is the all hero available every time you log in they give you a hero and you can check which one you're gonna get after you get one of every hero it's gonna start giving you a random soul stone this whenever you get 60 you get a random hero of a level and then on top of here there are certain threshold that you can reach by just logging in and at some points you get basically a guaranteed s rank hero and this is going to be a guaranteed s level but including celestial and hypogean uh, hypogean so those are like more juicy because you're gonna you you could get an hypogean here which is really good now on the forward journey as you can see this for example is just about reaching a certain afk stage for 400 450 20 25 etc and it's going to give you a certain threshold it's going to give you a couple of brown pools which are the s rank selector pools uh, for the the banner not the selector at the end you get some some cool uh, drip for your character primal lord is the is the, um, the the challenge right you can go there and challenge the primal lord now let's go back there and then there's there's going to be other stuff here is going to always appear this is the follow us reward now on the the card system the card system is basically the battle pass if you don't don't buy the battle pass those are the quests for the battle pass you do them daily weekly and epics does it like permanent weekly and daily reset every time obviously and by doing those you get xp for the left side is the free to play right side is the premium one okay so 
there's not nothing else to say. If you want to lock the premium one, you just pay. Now, this is the growth path. It's going to be really, really good for, uh, for you when you want to get like more uh, good stuff from the from like just growing your character and as you can see just uh, it's just about like reaching a certain resonance reaching a certain fk stage or dispelling an x amount of miasma which are the road blocks in the map okay they're gonna block you're gonna require you to be a little bit stronger before you can continue now since we're here on the growth path let's also check the growth trials, those are just a permanent quests that are like in for your account and they will give you uh, an assortment of different like uh, rewards depending on what you're doing. This is permanently there, so you're going to eventually get a lot of, uh, of these materials the more uh, quests you do. Guild quests, uh, if you are in a guild, those are the guild quest quests that you should be trying to do at least uh, because the guild quests are really important. This is not the video, but yeah. And then the daily quests, those are the daily quests. It's really, really easy to do. And they also involve like having a friend list. That would be easier if you have a friend list. So that way you can like exchange and you don't have to worry too much about doing the exact exactly what they tell you because you can do send or receive to all of your friends it will quickly fill and you will do at least one or two quests uh, for the daily immediately okay so in this panel as you can see it's the same stuff that we already checked we also have the inventory here in case you have something to open that you didn't notice yet or that you forgot about there's also uh you can also check how close you are from like a, a getting one of these done the, like, for example you need 60 okay i need 10 more for this or there are some consumable that you really want to use for some extra fk rewards the ingots and stuff like that okay so it's really good now moving on you also have the collection if you want to check all the heroes and what they do even if you don't have them they're going to show you uh what they do at their maximum level the only thing that you can check is is their special weapon what it does it doesn't show you because it doesn't show the the gear okay now in the guild on the bottom middle this is the guild if you are uh, the guild master or just a guild member you can still you will still see this you only see the only thing you don't see is the uh the challenge here you can see this one but when you go to the uh, guild chest you won't be able to modify the rules but that's what it is you, you don't have to worry about it you can just do your contribution by doing the quests or go to challenge try to do these and you will be contributing and getting a lot of these coins that are really important so i'm not going to stress now but what you want to do is be very active do all the quests that you can and then when the battle drizzle open contribute to the uh the, the continuation the battle for the mega boss okay you want to do this attack do your battle uh, kill as much as you can uh, this is going to be another video so i'm not going to stress too much on this one and then move on with your with your game okay so now we have the battle modes when you click the battle modes you will uh, initially initially only have honor duels and eventually arena and then you eventually will unlock with the afk stage level you will unlock the dream realm the legend trial arcane labyrinth and battle drills not in this order but the first one i think is going to be dream realm then arcane then legend and then battle drills i think at like 200 and something level of afk stage you unlock battle drills which is the guild the guild raid uh dream realm it's a boss fight so you do the boss fight you get the rewards if you kill it or if you put it to a certain hp threshold when they die they get replaced with a new boss the, the same boss but harder difficulty and the rewards get refreshed and every day they change so you want to tackle them every day honor duel is basically a a duel that you do with random characters that are already maxed and there's a standalone progression system so you don't you don't necessarily get destroyed by whales even if you're free to play if you know what you're doing and you know your character well, you will win in honor duel arena is your classic arena you just challenge them and you will be presented with an amount of people here okay i want to challenge this guy if you click them you're not you don't necessarily commit yet you can just look at what they have they're like okay i can't win this you go back and it was it's not going to count your your try until you actually start so you can check them and there's a whole progression system that rewards you with a lot of coins and uh, diamonds when you first reach a certain uh part of the, a certain ranking okay and you want you want to win a certain amount of times per week if you can because they give you a lot of coins and you really want these coins a lot you want them uh, for the characters now arcane labyrinth is a roguelike approach to a to the game so you just 
go through multiple rooms, getting sele uh, selecting certain cards that empower your character. At the end, you fight the boss, and if you fight the boss, you also have a chance to progress a little bit further to get more points, and then the, ra the round ends and you get your rewards, and after you clear it, you move into the next tier. For example, difficulty 2 is clear, difficulty 3 is not. I can do this one, it's going to tell you what's my what, what are my rewards, and you should be able, uh, you, sh you should want to do them all the time if you can, okay? At least attempt. Legend trial it's a tower the tower different towers they open at different times and at different days of the week there is a day where everyone is open everything is open i think it's like saturday or sunday i think it's sunday at sunday everything is open otherwise you are restricted to the faction that the tower is for so this one is the beast faction you will only be able to use even if you have all the other characters you will only be able to use your beast characters okay so you can basically put your faction team to the test battle drills i already told you so okay so the mystical house is the last thing that we're going to talk about and here you can check your noble tavern which is which are the banners uh, this is the special banner the the limited one okay and then you have all hero recruitment this is the basic banner the standard banner you will always be here and epic recruitment this is a little harder to get the the brown the brown envelope from because there you can get them but they're more scarce and you can't trans transform your your diamonds into brown envelopes and this is the stargate station where you can actually start pulling for the hypogeon or celestial character and those are just those use the stargazer orb only which you can get from the recruitment store or the guild store okay this guild store is monthly and you can use the diamonds for this one recruitment store it's uh uh from it's it uses thicket tickets that you uh, produce by pulling on the other banners. So you will eventually have enough. Uh, eventually, you can uh, you will be presented with like a pay option that you can do if you want, where, where you can get a bunch of more of these. And in this banner, you don't really lose too much. I mean, you can get some Omni Acorn and this ones, but you can also get a lot of diamonds back and you can just get the character. The character is like 3% on this one. On this one, the there's... Uh, 30, 30 PD, 5%, and this one is 60 PD, I believe, yes, 2%, that's the banner, you can also do wishlist, by the way, and the uh, normal one is 40 PD, the, the premium one, the limited, 40 PD, 3%, now, on this standard band, you can do wishlist here, which you, you can select each faction, which character you would like uh, to get, so if you are sick of a character, or you're already done, and you want to focus on someone else, you can do this one, and now Lucius would not appear anymore, for example, but I do want him. Now, it was just an example. So that was the that was the um, the noble tavern, the emporium, as uh, you saw briefly. It's uh it's basically a a store where you can buy different things. The guild store and the arena store and the dream store are the most important because dream store you can buy all these uh, copies of the A tier character, the the A rank, not tier A rank character, and this one you can buy two copies of uh, of these with the arena store. That's what your arena coins. With that's why you want to do the arena every time, so you don't want to miss out on these because they reset, I believe, every either every month or every week. I didn't have enough to time to check what it was, but either way, you want to buy them before they go away, okay? At least, like, for example, Cecia, if you want Cecia, you should be picking up these before they go away. And it should be fairly easy to buy, because I didn't do many arenas, arenas, and I still have almost enough to buy two of these, okay? And if you don't have the character and you buy a soul sigil, it will unlock the character for you, so you don't have to necessarily have the character to buy the sigils or to make use of those. Just click and it will unlock the character for you. So this is a is this a way to target farm, let's say, or to target unlock a special S character without pulling on the main banner, okay? The guild store, I already told you, is really important. Don't you don't waste your, your diamonds or any of these. And you can buy an, an Hypogean or Celestial character here. It costs a lot, but I already bought one. So it doesn't take too long to buy one copy, okay? And if you really want to buy something with diamonds, you should buy these once these unlock, because you wouldn't see them. You will see them once you unlock the, uh, the Hypogean and uh, the, stel the stellar gaze okay so and then you have the mystic collection and the mail the mail uh, it's self-explanatory but the mystical collection is a uh, an overall status of what you did what you did in the game every every one of these will unlock something with for your afk uh, power or afk generation this one increases a couple of aspects like essence earned xp earned by doing what they tell you same thing with never ending books they all uh, 
look at different parts of the game. So that one was like for AFK stage. Uh, this one is for a daily quest claim. This one is for winning in arena. So by doing everything into the game, you will eventually unlock more and more tiers, like higher tiers, higher level of these. This is for pulling. You unlock everything. You're chilling at this point. Uh, do enough pulls. It will unlock certain th certain things. Okay. So this is really important to uh, keep an eye on to check what you need to do if you really want to focus on some of these because you, maybe you feel like you're behind or something. Okay. That's the mail. The mail is self-explanatory. I don't have to worry about telling you that. Now, the last thing, the resonating hole, you can have the artifacts here. Uh, it's they're very important, so keep that, try to unlock them as soon as possible to level them up as high as possible, okay? You will have the money, don't worry about it. Also, the resonance level, as you can see, uh, you select the top five heroes that are the highest level, and you can just level those up, and everybody else will be the same level that they are. So you want to have them uh, maxed out and topped up, because every, every time you do, they will get increased right so that's really important the other characters will level as well and the equipment is one of the good things about afk journey because on the rogue or any class the every support is sharing the same gear every rogue is mage is sharing the same gear every warrior every rogue every tank every marksman okay so when you replace one piece of gear for them what happens is you're gonna do this for example 90 okay now, every tank is going to benefit from it. Every tank that you have, even the ones that you don't. May, when you unlock them, they're going to benefit. So uh, it's really, it's much better. So keep that in mind. It's really, really good. Okay. So I don't think there is anything else to say, to be honest. During the battle, I, I, let's, let's tell you during the battle. During the battle, let's say, the battle is always going to look like this. It's important when you put your characters, who are you using and who are you fighting and where you are in the game, for example. So depending on what they do, what their kit does of your characters and who are you fighting against, it's really important. Also, don't forget the faction bonus. If you can, you should be playing the same characters of the same faction because they get higher stacks, higher HP, higher, higher attack. And if you mix them up, sure, they may might be uh, stronger technically but they lose a big buff so keep that in mind if you can you should try to do the same of the same fa the same faction right same characters for the same faction if you can obviously you can do out of battle of battle in the afk battle but if you have anywhere else you can just do the battle yourself and at that point you can also click uh good quality of life uh toggles for example who's who are the enemies attacking this is really important they who are your units attacking so for example i like using this one because that way i can move my tanks in a way to share the aggro because i do this everyone is attacking lucius if i do this everyone is attacking thoran but if i do this one they're gonna share uh, the enemy so it's not gonna be that big of a deal if um so no one is gonna die right it's gonna they're gonna live in time for me to heal so this is really important also when you are playing i will die in this battle because it's, i can't do it but in this battle you can you can decide to do your ultimate automatically or if you want to press for the ultimate okay if you want to press for the ultimate you will have to click these yourself while if you do the if you click the cog they will do them themselves automatically so if you don't want to touch it you can just leave it here times two and cog up and they will do whatever they want. You can also chat while uh, while attacking. Oh, I won. Imagine that. So that is it. Well, After you win, you can click. You can go ahead or you can click this, uh, which is a, uh, a panel that shows you who did what, how much damage, who healed, who shielded. So you can have an idea if someone is, is, uh, is, is lacking off or someone is not performing like, like you would like to. Okay. Now, that's probably it. I don't think there is anything else for me to tell you in the normal panels. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any other questions, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more AFK videos, AFK journey videos. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.